Hello, how's everybody doing? I am very tired. <laughs> it's been a really long week. The rain has been just raining me. But, um, so, if you guys haven't heard of now, um, the video about John Gray, um, from Mr. Jackson, he's, um, a cool person, and he's a uh, influencer, and he posted a video to kind of respond to John Gray's video when he was sister, when he was talking about, you know, his wife and his covering, um, her offering him so much support while he was going and becoming a man. And yes, all of that is good, but then, you know, Jackson is Jackson, and he responded and said, I'm only coming with Jackson because I can't get first name right now. And he responded and said, um, you know, yeah, that's good, and yeah, that sounds nice, but at the same time, what does it take for a woman to be able to do that? And they responded, you know, when we back, he said that, you know, it takes a full on woman and she ain't this she has to go so much to help, you know, simply raise him and, you know, be patient and be treated a lot and you know, all these different things while he's trying to grow. And his particular words with John Gray, his words were, you know, she needs my covering and not my lid. But and the Jackson's point was, okay, so she's being your covering while you're being her lid because who's supporting her? Who's covering her while she's supporting you? You know, it wasn't it's not like a mutual thing, like you are hurting her because you're hurt. And so she has to pick up that feed and she has to, you know, go all the turmoil because of where you are. You're broken. And, you know, she's given up herself to support him. And that was, you know, his fun with the video. And John Gray and his wife decided to go on live and respond. And what I thought was interesting was the whole time, John Gray is sitting in the background. He's, he's trying to speak, but she wouldn't allow him. She's so in her feelings and upset. And that she's just, you know, she's indecent, and she's responding on behalf of her husband. So she's still in covering mode. She's still in being in protection mode. She's still in, you know, being, you know, what he needs her to be. She missed the whole point of what Mr. Jackson was saying. She missed the whole point of him defending her and trying to uplift women and let them know that we don't all have to be in that position. Now, on a deep note, being in, you know, being in African American, being in the back, how you refer to yourself, your race, how you refer to it, we have been put in situations for so many years to where our men were taken from us, you know, we were beaten all kinds of things, we are used to having to flip out that protection, but then, you know, over the generation, things have changed to where, you know, one woman takes on so much, you know, takes on a whole lot to be there for our men, whether, whether it's our sons, our husbands, our boyfriends, whatever, we take on a lot to be in a relationship because our men have been so beaten down, because our men have been so, you know, mentally defined, because our men have been taken away from us in the little zone, that we are always on defense, we're always in protection mode. And he wanted, and Ms. Jackson, he was taken away from her. He totally got what she was, he totally got where she was coming from. But she missed the whole point of what he was saying, that we're now in a different place where things have to shift. Things have to shift, and they can't, our loyalty, our relationship can't be based on what we're willing to go through, or how long we're willing to stay and tolerate things, how long we're willing to, you know, do anything that doesn't do anything, take a hold on, it changes us. It, 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 again, who's covering us while we're covering them, is what he was saying. Like, we can't, he can't say, oh, you know, she's my right to die because she was willing to do it with me, she is. And she's respecting her for 10 years. That doesn't make me worry. That makes me stupid. Because after a while, you get broken down. It takes toll on you. Regardless of how many times a man says he loves you, it takes toll. And I thought it was interesting that their response to what he said was her still being in defense. She totally missed everything he said. She was still in her defense. She didn't even realize that that was something that was between man and man. It didn't have nothing to do with her. You know, he was dressing John Gray in the message that he was sending to us black watchers. That wasn't even for her to speak on. At that moment, she should have took a back seat and let you know, let John Gray respond on her behalf. That was a man to man conversation and that used to be had. It has nothing to do with her. And there was another thing I think has to notice is that we have to know when to be quiet. We have to know when to back up. And we have to know when to let a man be a man. At some point, you have to take that back and let a man be a man. I remember when I was a kid, and there was a girl in middle school, me and her didn't like each other. And she sent her parents to my, my parents' door. And the mother, it was my dad and her dad were at the door talking to each other. Her mom decided to jump in front of the man, jump in front of her, her, one of the they were together. She decided to jump in front of him and start mouthing off at my dad. So, of course, mom was like, wait a minute. That was then, and then, and now you all in the mix. So, of course, my mom was like, hold up. <laughs> and she was decent. And it was interesting to see that back then, you know, that we just always feel like we got to be the ones to be popping off on us. That's not even our place. So, what would happen if my dad was a man, he decided to haul off and hit her or say something inappropriate because she didn't know how to stay in lane, he could have left. You know what I mean? So we as women have to know to be quiet. We sit down. Then back up when, when, the, when the pump breaks, you know. But so we have to learn when to just go to you know what I'm saying? And we're, we're again, I understand we're so used to being in that position. We're so used to having to.
to be, you know, mom and dad. We're having, we're, we're used to having to be strong. We're used to having to be independent. We're used to have to have our own voice. We're always going to fight more because there's always going to come against us. So I totally understand where it's coming from. But at the same time, it doesn't make it okay. And we put ourselves in very situations or unnecessary, you know, situations because we're taking all of it isn't for us. We have to know and allow somebody else to deal with their own stuff. We can't play God and try and save people in their own karma from your own lessons. Now, I'm not saying abandoning your name, but at the same time, you have to win, you have to protect you. So many times, completely lose ourselves because we're trying to love somebody that's not even ready to love themselves. They can only connect with you to a certain degree anyway. You're trying to love a broken person, and they are attached to you because you have something that they don't. So if you're not careful, the person is going to do anything to suck from you anyway. We have to be able to come out of, you know, compassion, you know, coming out of being, you know, effect, and, and sometimes take our mind with us and be able to logical with it. Okay, I love him, but I have to let him learn. I got I got separate. And that's not to say you love for me less, but for your own self, for your own well being. Sometimes we got to take that seat. Sometimes we have to we got to take our hand off stuff. And all the Jack was trying to say. So I hope that and I did see in the comments where he and I were had a conversation, they asked him if they sit down and have a man man one on one conversation and I hope they that they you know, he wasn't offended but Jack wasn't offended, he responded in very, you know, adult like mature class way. So I hope that they can sit down and address and be able to actually hear each other's points. Um, even if they agree to disagree we'll be able to hear each other and really talk it out. Um so we'll see what comes out of it, but I wish them I on it. Let me know what you guys think. Um leave me your comments, like, share, subscribe, if you agree, and let's get the conversation going. Bye bye.